Okay, on Monday, February 25th, we broke this axle, and uh, we're just getting this old axle stub here pulled out, and then we'll, the rest of the video will be the reassembly of this bearing and axle assembly. Alright, Kerr and Jason went over and they brought the hub and the old axle spindle back. Jared's got some new parts here. We're going to go ahead and put the spindle, we're going to load the spindle with the bearings on it, axle, whatever you want to call it. Um, we're going to load everything here and then just slide this into uh, the tube on the, the spreader rather than do everything over in the field. So. We'll go ahead and put new bearings into it and get it set here now. Okay, we are headed over to the field. We have our um, new axle along with the hub and everything's all loaded. Alex is headed over. Now I'm going to load up with a load of manure. I'm going to help him get that thing together and uh, we should be golden. Uh, everything went together good on that. Uh, hub, we were lucky enough last night to get that axle out of the steering spindle uh, assembly itself so this is going to slap right back together um, we did not have an axle for it uh, Jared went this morning to uh, Ortel Supply and uh, picked up that axle he got back here about quarter to eight he left at two o'clock this morning and uh, gathered up them parts I'm just backing in now, I'm going to load up, head over, and we're going to get her fixed. So, we'll be back at you in uh, just a short little bit of time here. Yeah, we'll start this old 4250 up. Looks like a little bit of snow got in here last night. Let's uh, let this warm up for a minute here. Um, the door was open a little bit, so we got some snow in here. So, not that the door um, shuts all that tight anyway. So, we'll, uh, we'll load up and go here. We'll uh, get some anti seize. Put some anti seize in there. And uh,
Oh God, it's got air pressure. Well, let's get this bolt ready. This has got such a tight fit. It's got air pressure working against it. You don't think so? Tell me we have to take that dust cap off and turn it with a knot. Or I try pulling it back off. I was afraid of that. I was wondering if we should have brought the No traction, bud. All right, we got her. We got the hard part done. I worried about that knot. All right, now we just have to uh, get our tire up on there. So, we'll see if you can raise that axle. I don't know, we might have to put the bucket up underneath it and get it helped up. We kind of, uh, we hook that hose up, we kind of raise this whole side of the spreader. Okay, all right, we'll do that. Uh, all right, we're gonna raise the uh, suspension up on this right hand side so we can put that on. Okay, let's try that. Can you lift the front axle up? He's got to go the other way with it. Go the other way. He's trying to lift the front axle up now. For whatever reason, that won't lift the other side. Okay, go down. Go down. Down. Tell him to go down. That yeah, won't go down. Alright. Alright, now we're going to try to stand. I'm going to try to stand this tire up now. Hose in. 
All right, we're gonna try to let this side down. Whoa! Letting this other side down. Get the other side to come up. Oh. Gotta let the air out of this tire so that we can get it on there. We thought the axle would lift, but it won't. You got a decompression? We just have to uh, tighten these up, air the tire back up, and uh, we'll be golden here. Yep. Alright, we're just going to have to get some air in there. All right, all we have left to do here is finish putting uh, air in the tire. We're torqued. Got to level the frame, and then we're going to start loading here. All right, he has his first load loaded up here. He's just getting ready to pull away from the from Jared right now here, so. Stuff going on with all in manure here. We haven't done 
much shop work really since uh, since we more or less did the mixer. I mean, we had a brake job that we did on two uh, um, Diller trailers. We ended up getting the combine um, ready for wheat and whatnot. And then we had our problems with getting stock and whatever and and uh, whatnot like that. I had a couple of meetings that took some time away from me last week and um, you know, and then of course we had the farm show. So we've been just kind of hauling manure here as you can see um, for the past couple weeks anyhow here. So once, uh, once we get to the point where we cannot spread any manure, in other words, once it's too muddy, or in the event we get a measurable amount of snow, um, we'll be back into the shop. I have a bunch of iron that we have to get on a couple of Landall discs. Um, I've got to put a bunch of iron on our grain drill, and I have to do the corn planter, but we're kind of utilizing our time a little better here and trying to get manure out when we can. Um, it's nearing the first of March here, which is a good and a bad thing. Um, it's good on, on one side of things that um, winter's nearing its end, but um, we just don't have um, enough storage in the lagoon right now to uh, ride this out until it sto actually stops snowing or winter or until winter is actually and officially over. Um, we've had some snowstorms come in late here in, in March and drop, you know, anywhere from two to three foot of snow before and that takes a long time to uh, not only get rid of that amount of snow, but it takes a long time to dry the ground out. And I'm, I'm really afraid that um, that's going to happen to us. So we've been kind of nursing this manure along and, and trying to get as much out as we can, as safely as we can. So that's why you're seeing us monkeying around with this manure when it's cold like this. And we're dealing with a lot more problems than we regularly not have, if you will. Uh, this, this cold just brings out a lot of problems with with anything. Uh, we're dealing, you know, we're dealing with a liquid product, uh, and, and we're trying to uh, we're we're <laughs> we're playing around with it in uh, you know 15 and 20 degree temperatures here, and it uh, freezes on everything and. It just makes for hard going. So, with that being said, uh, I rambled on here long enough on the closing of this video here. So, I want to thank you for watching. And uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And we'll catch you at the next video. Thanks again, folks.